As Australian firefighters head into Friday, they know that the heat is going to pick back up. And so they're making an effort to try to cool down all of the areas that have already been burned. You see that effort going on here in the bush, in the forest. They're hosing down these areas that could once again reignite, particularly when we head into Friday when those temperatures are going to be back. So cooling this down will deny the opportunity for the fire to jump the road over there and continue its progression. When it moved through here before, we're being told that the temperatures were above 100 degrees Celsius, that water, in fact, was boiling inside tanks on some of the fire trucks. That gives you a sense of the intensity of a fire that was, at, at one point, many kilometers wide with 20 meter high uh, flames. They know that kind of possibility could resume, and they're looking inside this because this is very, very hot. Uh, they're using heat guns to really get a sense of what's going on there, using the water to try to cool it to prevent the possibility of more danger happening. Now, of course, this comes as there are thousands of firefighters uh, being deployed right across Australia, particularly in coastal areas. Uh, many people coming in from other areas, including many Canadians. We know that when the Canadian firefighters arrived just the other day at the airport, they were cheered by many people because the help is so needed. Now, they're only a small part of the firefighting effort here, which is really led largely by volunteers. Most of these people, the vast majority of them, are Australian volunteers, part of the largest volunteer firefighting force in the entire world. And they've been busy. And they know they're going to be, continue to be busy for quite some time to come.